So in this quick tip, we're going to have a look at a clipping mask, or, or as some people refer to it, clipping to a layer, and we're going to use it in conjunction with a pattern fill. So I've got a photograph here. What I want to do is effectively put some text across the bottom and give it a particular fill pattern. So I'm going to start out by adding a pattern. So I'll click down here at the bottom of the layers panel, and I will choose pattern from there. And I'm then going to pick out a pattern. Now there's a number of patterns in here, some presets that come with Photoshop, some extra I've added in. Um, I'm going to go in here and add this wood pattern that I've got in here. And I want to pop that in there. Scale 100% is fine. Link with a layer is fine. I'm going to click OK on there. And that's added my pattern in there. Now, I don't actually need the mask on there. Um, it's really relevant because I've no desire to restrict this at all. I'm quite happy with it at that size. But what I do want to do is put the text on there that I plan to use. So I'm going to go over to the left-hand side here, grab the Type tool, and then just click in down the bottom and type in the beach, for example. Um, and we're going to use this photo of the lady on the beach and pop some text across the bottom that says the beach in there. So we'll have it like that. However, what I want is I want the text to actually have the pattern through it there. So what I need to do here to in order to clip one layer to the other is just drag that down here. And there's a couple of ways to do this, but the easiest one to clip that pattern fill layer to the text layer. And what I mean by clip it to it is make sure the pattern fill only shows through the areas that the text layer is on. Um, I'm going to hold the Alt key or Option key on the Mac, bring my cursor down, and you'll notice the white hand changes when it goes over the line. So I move the cursor down until it's over the line. I don't click and drag. It's one thing I see people do again and again. So don't do that. What you do is you click once. So when you see that little icon there, just click once, and it clips the wood pattern to only show through the areas where the text is. Now, I'm doing it with text. You can do that with pretty much anything. You could paint a bit of paint onto a blank um, layer if you wanted to and get it to clip and only show through the areas you've painted onto. You could put another image or something else on there and create a composite and then clip one pattern to show through another, for example. Um, so it's a very, very easy technique to use. If you want to undo it, hold the Alt or Option key, move the cursor back up, and again, don't drag, because when you start dragging, you start duplicating things, and it get, causes confusion. So just hold the Alt key, and when the cursor is over there, just click once, and it unclips it again, so now it's been separated. So a really nice, easy way to be able to clip one layer to another, and that's, that's a clipping mask or clipping to a layer.